My name is Matthias Spider Shergan. The spider came when I started my teaching profession. Uh, I went to the Art Institute from about, 19, um, about 1973 to 1980. It took me a while to get through this and that, life interferes. And uh, I got my uh, BFA and I got my uh, certification in art education, pre-K through 12, I'm an art specialist. So when I left high school, I went to a regular university. It was just killing me because, you know, I did all my basics, but I was getting the itch. So then I went to the Art Institute. And it kind of fit very well. It, it, I just, like, went the next step there. And in my day, there was just a lot of emphasis on your process, on who you are as an artist and how do you... How do you bring your internal thoughts, your internal workings to light? To communicate that to somebody else and what's, what's the process you use? And that was always really important. And then I always wanted to be a teacher since I was a little kid. In time, I affiliated myself with the art, with the art education program. I love the organization of the room. I love the way things have to function. I love thinking about how will I teach fourth graders to use mosaics. And, it, and that's how I feel about it. I want them to learn how to use these things. I really don't care what they make with it. But I want them to know that these materials are available for their use. And so a lot of my activities, kind of based on my life as a kid, and, our found object related stuff for things we make with yarn, things we make with plaster, where they come in here and they know they're someplace else. They know they're in the art room with Mr. Spider and they're not in the classroom with Miss whoever with a, a, their nose in a book or taking tests and you know all that kind of linear thinking. I try to really give them a chance to just stop thinking linearly and just see what's going to happen here. If you're teaching a child science, you want them in a lab situation. If you're teaching a child gym, physical education, you want them in a gym. And I think if you're teaching them art, you want them in a studio setting where it suits their learning style, their developmental, cognitive development at that time. And now that I'm here, I, I know why I'm here. I have a sense of why I was brought to this place, you know, and that's huge part of a guy's life, to have that sense of purpose anyway, definitely a sense of purpose. And the more I'm here, the more I grow and I learn. And I'm a very different person than I was when I started. Very different, very, far more um, directed in ways, far more communicative, far more assertive in ways that I didn't used to be. And it's been very, uh, what's that, symbiotic. You know, I've grown, and the people, I hope, whose lives, the kids whose lives I've touched have grown in some way. I know that when I see a kid out on, the, out on the street or up on the L platform and they see me and they're growing, and I'm like, wow, and they're hugging me, like, oh, Mr. Spider, oh, Mr. Spider. I know that there's something there, that they haven't forgotten me. In fact, one mother was telling me that sometimes her kids get together and imitate me, and they just think it's a riot to come up, they, they say all my phrases, they use all my gestures, they, they communicate with each other like they're me, and I mean, that's a huge testament, I love that.